Hi, welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I am Catherine. So we're coming up with our Spring Floral Series, episode number four, and it's the Fiddle Leaf Fig Tree. I know they're really expensive. Here are some from William Sonoma, Kathy Quo, and Garden Road. So guys, we're going to make our own. I have my flower pot here. I've had it for some time, and I purchased it from Home Goods. I love that harvest symbol on the side of this flower pot. Now, I also went ahead and picked up some faux plants. Didn't get enough, I was one short, so I made an adjustment and you'll see that in just a little bit. So to keep our supplies to a minimal, we're using items that are coming to our homes in the mail. Cardboard boxes with styrofoam in them. You've seen me use bubble wrap. And believe it or not, the people who are manufacturing these very items that we are creating, these are their supplies. Have you ever seen these plants when you dismantle them? There's styrofoam in there. There's cardboard in there. We don't have to buy the expensive floral foams or the expensive adhesives to create these DIYs. Now I know um, a lot of people say you cannot have hot glue on styrofoam because it melts it and you know you can't it doesn't work out it just creates a bigger hole but for me the hot glue has to be warm not hot so once your hot glue heats up you unplug your hot glue gun or take it off of the cradle and allow it to cool down just a little bit it will still come out of the gun nice and smooth and once it starts to become um, a little difficult to come out then you basically plug it in again but you don't put hot glue on the styrofoam you put warm hot glue on the styrofoam that's what I do I think every craft room should have a lazy Susan so you can, you know, move your projects around. And I was about to DIY one and then I came across this Scrabble board which we had in the closet and we haven't played Scrabble in a minute and I thought, you know what, this is going to be perfect. Let's just add a little board on top and cover it with some contact paper and this is now your craft room lazy susan and it turned out beautifully so that's why i wanted to share that with you guys use what you got you know Now you can see that one spot where the glue was a little too hot, so it created a little hole around the trunk of the stem. So I am going to fix that. Just let it cool down and then you add the warm glue and it'll fill it in. Now this is the one that I'm going to apply in the center. So here I'm measuring with my finger how much I need to cut off. And there's a long metal piece on the inside, but it's real easy to get that out. I 
I didn't want you to be able to see through the bottom. I wanted it to be filled in just a little bit. So that's why I cut it. I am going to get two more of these just to put on opposite sides in the middle and I'm going to cut both of them. I want it to be a little full. But in the meantime, we're just gonna use this succulent temporarily to give that fullness along the bottom. The floral wire serves as an anchor and I'll add a few drops of hot glue to hold it in place. I'm gonna add these guys in just for a pop of color. And yes, I did cut them. All right, FYI, the next video coming up, we're working with orchids. All right, so we have a small box that we cut, two layers of styrofoam, which is basically mimicking floral foam for me. That height of those two items combined is about a half inch lower than the rim of the flower pot. So that way, when I apply the moss, it doesn't spill over the side of the flower pot. I can tuck it in around the edges very neatly. So yes, plants like this can cost you hundreds of dollars or even $1,400. Now there are some links on Amazon that I'm going to have in the description box of the fiddly fig leaf that you can buy to create this same thing. So I want you guys to know, save your money and use it for something extremely important. All right? Well, that's it for me, guys. If you are not a subscriber, I hope you'll consider doing so today and press the bell because that means, hey, Catherine, the next time you post something, I'm going to see it right away. I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to go have a look at your channel. I'm going to see it right away. I'm going to get notified. That's what the notification bell is for. And um, thanks a lot for watching. And as always, what do we do? Stay in prayer and stay creative. Guys, we got this. We got this. We got to keep going and soaring in his name. Have an amazing day.